This is like an exact mix of a German Shepherd pit bull. And this will tell us, did she learn something and did I teach her something? Hello everybody and welcome back to the coolest dog training channel right here on YouTube. I'm Tom Davis, America's canine educator. Thank you for joining me right here today. Today we are in Richmond, Virginia, working with two different dogs in the same house, working on two different things. One of the dogs needs behavioral work and, and, uh, and uh, confidence building and the other dog needs obedience and leash structure. So we're gonna be working on two different things. If you guys haven't yet, don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video and I hope you enjoy it. Um, about to go in and figure out exactly what's going on and hopefully help these guys out. So, here we go. The dogs are barking. Hello. Hello. Tom. Steven. Steven, nice to meet you. Uh, you? I'm Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. Like the game plan, kind of go over like the itinerary of what's going on a little bit more in depth. Olivia, who's our first, she's three years old now. Um, had her since she was a puppy. I think she came from like kind of an abusive background. We rescued her. Um, she's always been super timid. Can't get her anywhere. We can't walk her. We can't do anything. Um, just she like puts her feet in the ground and just like I'm not going anywhere. Um, which is yeah, more background. They both have gone through like training, purely positive training. <laughs> yep. Um, they can do stuff for food, but when Olivia gets into like her state of like, this is scary, it's just- she Shuts down. Everything is yeah. gone. Yeah. Okay. So, and then Asher is just, she's half German Shepherd, half Pitbull. <laughs> so she's a lot, about a year. Um, and she is just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> she's high energy. Um, but just typical puppy stuff, um, just out of control. Mm -hmm. Again, purely positive. She's a great dog when you have lots of cheese and hot dogs, but mm. doesn't listen at all when sure. you don't have any of that stuff. Sure. Um, she's a little bit least reactive to dogs. And, and it's not just about you guys wanting to have complete and utter control because you're control freaks or, or, or you demand uh, respect. Creating a balanced relationship with any dog as far as you know, structure and, and, and discipline and, and obedience and all these things is actually the healthiest thing for them because they're not out in the world going, what the heck do I do? Because yeah. dogs think so differently than us. We go outside, we're like, oh, we're outside. This is my yard. There's my neighbor. There's the sun. They're like hyper, like yeah. irritated by everything. Their sensations, their hearing, their smell, everything is like, Phew. So we'll judge them outside, see how we go. Maybe just like, you know, out here on the road a little bit. Maybe walk up and down just a little bit so I can see where you're at. And then we'll come back to HQ here and, and figure out a good game plan and see what we need to do. Right, okay. Cool. This is like an exact mix of a German Shepherd pit bull. Type. So this is Asher, right? Yes. Okay. Hey, sweetheart. She looks excited. Um, you guys are using the gentle, uh, gentle yeah, she, thing. Yeah, I see that. But it's see, and that's it works. Nice to have control of her. Yes, yes, it works like a, it works like a horse harness type thing, like a head halter. Uh, it's exact, it's ex exactly what it is. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is that, yep. is where they have, they don't have the option to turn it off. Yeah. Where if you put like a slip collar, prong collar, uh, dominant dog collar, whatever, yep. when the only time that that's actually applied is when they pull or when they don't comply yeah. to a basic command. Like a constant right, yeah. so for that, I just, I don't, I love because it works nice, like they, they feel that pressure because it hits pressure points. There's two pressure points that it's hitting. There's one up here and there's one right, actually right there. And, but the only problem is it just doesn't shut off. Yeah. So for me, it doesn't create that clarity of like good, yeah. bad, good, yeah. bad. It's just constant like half bad. And yeah. then sometimes like there's a lot more pressure. Yeah. So, anyway. and then we're gonna put on just a little slip. I want to see, so what I want is more engagement. I want her to go, what are we doing? Where are we going? Where are we going? Right now, I mean, you can even see a little bit of a difference already where she's like, yes. good heel, good. Good job, sweetheart, heel. 
Good. Sit. Oh, good girl. So now I'm gonna do, because I, I just wanna make sure, I wanna make sure we're on the same page. And so now I'll take the slip and just put it right on our flat collar, okay? And this will tell us, did she learn something and did I teach her something or is she completely compliant with the equipment? What a wonderful girl. Beautiful, yeah? Yes. What a good girl. So there's no, and you can see in her eyes, she's completely like glassed over of like, ah, there's structure here. Somebody's telling me what I can do and what I can't do. And so here, we've developed clarity quickly. And now like you can tell her and I's relationship, how calm and nice she is and walking with one finger and, and she's completely complying. And the most important thing about this whole thing is she's happier. The second thing is, is I'm not forcing her to do anything. I just said, hey, you're a little out of control, let's pay attention, okay? And it's a lot better than that scraping and that, you know, now you can enjoy your dog, which is, which is wonderful. And what'd it take, like 10 minutes? So I'm gonna keep working her here on the flat collar and then my job is done and now it's your turn. <laughs> Okay, heel. Good. So the most important thing is when we're trying to create and capture new behaviors, in my opinion, and that's the thing about dog training, it's not you're right, you're wrong, there's a right way, there's a wrong way. As long as we're all humane and we're all reaching the same goal of creating new behaviors filled with motivation and compassion and empathy, everybody's right, right? So in my opinion, I like to mark this behavior as I'm doing it so the dog captures it well. Right, so just like with kids, one plus one is two plus two, and you do it over and over, and then all of a sudden you learn your ABCs and your math equations. Same thing here, good heel, bam, good heel. So she's gonna go, I think there's something to this heel thing. <laughs> so I'm, I'm trying to teach her behavior through using verbal markers in association with this, with this marker. Does that make sense? Yeah. Beautiful. So you can, um, like if you find yourself, yeah, and you can also too just, just do a little quick redirection. Switch up, say, hey, pay attention to me. Good girl. Heel, remember? Oh, now I remember. <laughs> Good, sit. Good girl, right? No. <laughs> so just, just tune her back up if you feel like she's like, <laughs> like a little kid, you gotta go, excuse me, um, hello. Wiggly, like, comes around, but and ultimately ends up here. Is that a good heel or is that? You wanna keep her into position. But what I would say is, um, let me see here. Just try to slow everything down. Everything that you're doing, like take it down like two, two notches. The faster you move with an animal, the more everything is like stimulated and predatorial for her. So I'm gonna demonstrate that again for you. Heel, heel, pop, there. Did you, did you see that? Now again, no verbal compliance, right? So she gets it and she's like, oh yeah, right? So now people will say like, you, you wanna be 100% like fear-free and all that stuff. I agree to a certain, you know, angle, but I also do wanna administrate some sort of fear into her in, in a positive way, just like with kids or, or anything, right? We're like, if you do that again, X, whatever that is, whatever that punishment may be, may be for the particular case. And they're gonna go, oh, I don't wanna, I really don't wanna make that mistake again because I'm gonna get a consequence. So that fear is actually, use fear. Don't be afraid of fear. But like I said, because of the propaganda we have in the dog training industry and it's all over the place. That's why I'm, I'm like, I, I don't really train dogs. I'm here to just work with you guys. I'm completely trying to remove myself from the industry because it's really bad right now. Um, Teach me again the like hopping technique. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm more just- playing. Okay, yep. Uh, so you go, you go this way. So if you're the dog, so you go out. 
hold on to the leash because I'm going to tug on you, okay? So when you go that way, you're doing more of like this. Walk that way. So you're like, oh, not paying attention. You're more like, come this way. And that doesn't really, you're kind of like, okay, I'm going this way. So let's go back this way again. So now you fly at the end of the leash, heel, pop. Do you feel that pop like that? I always do that. That's why I always tell people, hang on to it. Sorry. It's okay. But that's what you want to... That's what you, you got it? Okay, so that's, and that's the thing, it's like I'm not doing it hard, I'm just doing it fast. So that's what you wanna do is just pop like this. Because again, if you're like, hey, let's go this way versus like, hey, here. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. <laughs> so this is Olivia. Thank you guys so very much for watching this video. If you haven't yet, don't forget like, subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications so you don't miss any other episodes coming from me. We're likely gonna shoot a second episode with these guys tomorrow, moving into a little bit more distracted environments. Really happy with uh, how everything's turned out here today with the owners and the dogs. Thank you for watching. I will talk to you next time. Peace.